Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech-related tips and content. If this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream from Jitsi over to YouTube using Jitsi's built-in live stream option. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started with the actual video. This video is not about how to install Jabri server to live stream and record over to Jitsi. Its sole purpose is for the everyday user that will go to meet.jit.si to come together in these tough times with family and friends to maybe share a special moment, share a meal, just to say hello, maybe go to a happy hour together or play a game, whatever the case may be. Now that that's out of the way, let's hop over to the computer. Okay guys, let's get started with the process. The only prerequisite is that you have to have a Google account. Now I'm already signed into a demo Google account. And for that matter, I'm already signed into a Jitsi room that I created for the purpose of this video. But the first step is to set up your live stream parameters over in YouTube. So let's go back to YouTube studio. And you can set up your parameters one of two ways. You see this icon right here. If you mouse over it, it says go live. You also can start a live stream by coming up to the upper right hand corner of the screen, clicking the create button and also selecting go live from here. Either one will work. So let's go ahead and choose one. Now you would use this to go live directly from YouTube with no third party encoder such as OBS studio. And in this case, Jitsi meet. So for the purposes of what we want to do, we're going to come up to the upper left hand corner of the screen and we're going to click on stream. And you can see now we have a different dialog box and it allows us to set up our stream parameters. And if I mouse over the question mark, you can see it says start a new live stream using an encoder. And that's exactly what we want. So we'll call this Jitsi to YouTube live stream demo. Here you could set whether you want your stream to be public, private, or unlisted. So we'll just make it unlisted for this video. You can give it a description. And again, remember I said this is geared towards just the everyday user. So we'll say family live stream. You could put it under a category. And again, for this video, I'm just going to put it under how to. You could put it on whatever you want. You have the option of scheduling it for a later time. Then for your audience, you have to designate whether this is for kids or not for kids. So for now, I'm just going to say, no, it's not made for kids. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue create stream button. And now that the next page is loaded, you can see that it's waiting for a stream to come in from the third party encoder. But what we need to do is look at some of the settings here. So, you have an auto generated key, which is what we're going to need for Jitsi. Then you have a stream URL and a backup stream server URL. You have the latency settings. You can have normal latency, low latency, and ultra low latency. We're just going to leave it set for normal latency. Then you have some additional settings here that you can just leave all set for the defaults for what we need to do. So we're going to come back up here and we're going to copy the stream key. Now it's important that you don't publicize this stream key online because then basically anybody can get into your stream. So let's just go ahead and click on copy. And now that we have that information, let's hop back over to Jitsi and let's come down to the lower right hand corner and click on the three dots where it says more actions. And then we're going to select start live stream. And here, you can have the option of signing in with your Google account or just pasting in the live stream key. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to go ahead and click start live stream. Live streaming is on. Okay. So now you heard the confirmation from Jitsi that live streaming is on. We're not live yet. All that means is that Jitsi is now sending the stream information over to YouTube. Now to actually go live, let's go back to YouTube. And you can see here, it says excellent condition. There's a little bit of a preview and then up in the upper right hand corner, it says 
looks like you're ready. Click here to start streaming. So let's go ahead and do that. And it says we are live, but I see a black screen. That's interesting. But let's go over back to Jitsi and let's just move around and talk. Test one, two, test one, two. And let's see if we're actually streaming at this point. And there we are. Now I have the live stream in YouTube muted, so but you can see the movements that I just did over at the Jitsi Meet window. Now to end the stream, when you're all done, you just simply come up to end stream in the upper right hand corner. Are you sure you want to end your stream? And we're going to say end. And then it gives you the option of editing the live stream in YouTube studio. So we'll say edit in studio. And now we can quickly just go back to Jitsi and come back down to the lower right hand corner, three dots, and we'll say stop live stream. And all this is doing is stop sending the feed over to YouTube. YouTube's already stopped streaming live out to the internet at this point. Live streaming has stopped. And there's the confirmation. Back over in YouTube studio, you can see that YouTube saved the live stream as a video. If we click on the pencil, we can bring up the details and edit this video similar to any other YouTube video that we upload. You can give a description, you can change the title, you can add a custom thumbnail, etc. But for now, let's just take a look at the live stream that was saved by clicking on the video link. And now we're looking at the actual recorded live stream. And it says we are live, but I see a black screen. That's interesting. But let's go over back to Jitsi and let's just move around and talk. Test one, two, test one, two. And let's see if we're actually streaming at this point. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you for using those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. I want to wish you all well in these tough times. Please stay healthy and safe. And as always, see you next time.